Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. It's Monday, October 5th. I'm Ira Cronin with this News 5 update. President Trump still in the hospital as of this morning, but we're told he could be back at the White House later this afternoon. Doctors say he's doing well after a mild scare over the weekend with high fever and low blood oxygen levels a couple of times. Doctors did give him supplemental oxygen. He is now on a steroid. His vital signs are said to be stable. Coming up on Friday, the second debate between Senator Cory Gardner and Democratic challenger John Hickenlooper, Colorado's former governor, of course. It'll happen from 5 to 6.30 Friday night. It's hosted by our sister station, Denver 7, and we'll be airing it here on KOAA as well as streaming it on our website, social media pages, and our streaming apps. The Cameron Peak Fire in Larimer County has grown to more than 126,000 acres. It's now 42% contained. Fire officials are issuing a red flag warning starting tonight at 9 p.m that will go through 7 p.m. tomorrow due to the dry, warm weather and strong winds that are due to come blowing in this week. More on that in just a quick second. But first, in Colorado Springs, work continues on the southwest downtown 250-foot pedestrian bridge that will be new over the railroad tracks that will connect America the Beautiful Park and the Olympic Museum right into downtown. Work will take place during an eight-hour window to be specialized. The transport ramps will be set up across the railroad tracks. The pedestrian bridge set to officially open to the public in early 2021. Well, on a weather alert Monday, let's get a check of that forecast now with Sam. So red flag warnings are probably one of the two bigger stories today. This, the high fire danger and some of the warmth. We're going to target areas in the mountains, but also along and north of the Palmer Divide. Gusty winds, low humidity all feed into the fire concerns, and it will literally help feed some of the active burning fires. The Mullen, Cameron Peak, Williams Fork, and Middle Fork all definitely seeing a little bit more fed on in. So it's one of those things we're going to watch for. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.